What's up everyone and welcome back to Rob's Gaming Table. Today on the table we're unboxing Zombicide Invader, the civilian level pledge Kickstarter that was delivered to my house while I was away at Gen Con 2019, but I'm back ready to unbox this thing so we can take a look. Uh, and I've already cut the tape on the top here uh, so we can get into it quicker. Uh, but we got some paper here, packaging materials I guess. Uh, three doors that I added on the side because I do like the 3D doors that I had for a Zombicide Black Plague slash Green Horde. They were nice, a nice little touch. Uh, we got the Zombicide Civilian Extras. This I'm assuming is all the extra Kickstarter stretch goal stuff, I guess, for the civilian level pledge. And then I have the Zombicide Invader Core set in here. So I'll take that out. Oh, that one's heavy. And it looks like some colored pegs here. Uh, maybe they didn't put enough in the first uh, run boxes here. These are the little colored pegs used on the like player dashboards. And let's throw this cardboard box to the side. And I guess we'll start with the core set. We'll push that off to the side. Get Zombicide Invader out here. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, let's take the cellophane off here. And we'll just... Uh, the plastic. So yeah, there's another Zombicide edition uh, after the regular Zombicide series, then the Black Plague and Green Horde, which we have playthroughs of all on the channel uh, where we've played a lot of the missions uh, in the scenario books. And we will continue to do so with Zombicide Invader. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that alarm bell button, uh, because we will be doing uh, playthroughs with a few players uh, on the channel, trying to go through as many missions in this game as we can. Uh, but here it is. Without the plastic, very nice. Uh, it's beautiful art on the front. Let's check the side of the box here. So one to six players, 14 plus, one hour. Maybe the intro campaign is one hour, but uh, Zombicide usually runs a little longer than an hour, and that's not including setup, obviously. <laughs> Time on boxes, that's my favorite thing. Companies lie, they lie. Okay, uh, the back of the box here. Zombicide Invader, a cooperative game for one to six players, ages 14 and up. And we are at the dawn of a new space age. Xenom is a special fuel with outstanding properties has been discovered on a distant planet called PKL7. As the base was growing larger and the miners were drilling deeper, something happened. The Xenos, an alien species we believe to be peaceful, suddenly went mad and turned against us. They are infected like zombies. What? Actually, it should be Xenocide, right? Uh, but anyways, a uh, few of us are left after the onslaught. We don't expect any help. We are survivors, we have revenge, and we will prevail. Now this is time for Zombicide Invader. So it tells you little counts of the minis on there. But yeah, let's get into this thing here. Ooh. Put the box lid to the side. Okay, we have those little mold spore thingies that the, um, the abominations leave around. Looks like you can start them on fire maybe. That's why they're like orange on one side and not on the other. Either way, I'll throw this aside. We have a beautiful rules and missions book. Uh, cool Meaner Not likes to put uh, them all together in one book, uh, not separate like some companies do where they do the manual, the rule book, and then they throw in the mission book on the side or campaign book. Uh, but yeah, nice, beautiful colored book. actually bring you down closer so you can take a closer look at this thing so we got you a little more zoomed in here so you can take a better look at this book and some of the components Here's the game overview the basics nice colorful images little uh, captions beside them to explain what's going on there some good examples there's your items noise explanation the xenos your inventory I love these player dashboards. Ever since they added them into Zombicide, these are great. It'll keep your stuff all you know, nice and organized, not like the first Zombicide where it was just like a board. And, but they got Zombicide 2.0 coming. I saw a little uh, little display in their uh, case at uh, Gen Con at the, the Come On booth uh, where they're showing off Zombicide 2.0. Not to be confused with Zombicide uh, Evolution New Vegas or Las Vegas or whatever that will be coming with the uh, Teburu attachment. Uh, that might get a little confusing. And yeah, combat. Just 
going through the book here. Uh, so security rooms, oxygen supply rooms and airlocks. So I'm assuming that's all kind of the newish rules to Zombicide. I'll go over those in detail in our playthrough series where we'll discuss how that works uh, for each scenario as it applies. So here's the missions. I don't know if it goes in a campaign. I always wish they would do that with Zombicide where they kind of make a campaign where you play through and instead of just missions like that are kind of their own separate thing. Um, but yeah, it doesn't look like I see M zero, which is obviously mission zero, the intro kind of tutorial mission and just goes up from there. Let's see how many we got. Do we have the usual 10 ish that are in here? Nine, 10. Yep. 10. And then the skill reference sheet here in the back of the book, some special rules set up here on the left, more skills. There's your index, which is always nice credits and your game round summary and targeting priority order so we got tank slash abominations which i'm assuming is fatty slash abominations workers are walkers and hunters since they take two actions i'm assuming are similar to runners uh, but i don't know too much about this game obviously we haven't delved into it yet but i will read that rule book and become very familiar with it before our playthrough all right we have this beautiful box inside a box look at that Oh man, I don't know the code though, and it looks like it's locked. It's locked right here. Man, what do I do? Oh, I just open it. All right, giddy up. Let's throw this over to the side here. So let's take a look at this box within a box here. We got our player cards. And we have, let's throw that off the side. Baraka. Assuming for Mortal Kombat, right? No. Uh, Cole. Uh, Jared, Magnus, Mitsuki, and Vivian, which looks straight out of the Alien movie. Sigourney Weaver there. <laughs> and here's one of the player dashboards. Look at this thing. That looks nice. Nice gray color uh, to go with the theme. The space fan, uh, space uh, theme that they use here. All right, we got the usual red Zombicide dice. Of course, they try to upsell you on the Kickstarter. Give you a nice custom dice, which I don't believe I purchased, obviously, or got included in the game that I see. That's kind of sucky. Oh, well. And there's your bases, uh, color bases for your characters. To match up to your little pegs that you use on the board. Uh, your little dashboard. Uh, we got the cards, the zombie cards and item cards here. Uh, let's crack these open. Oh, those look cool. I like the graphic design on this game for sure. Whoop, dropping cards. All right, let's throw the items to the side. So this looks like your spawn cards, your zombie deck. It's got that back on it there. I don't know if you can see that, but that art is pretty cool. Come on, camera focus. There we go. Target detected. And then here's your cards on the other side. Uh, but yeah, got your tanks, molds, oh, mold spawns here. So I guess that happens when there's actually mold on the board, you'll spawn out of the mold. Hunters, tanks, spoiler abomination. Yeah, lots of cards here. Nice big deck. I have the deck holders for these mini cards from the last Zombicide set. I'll be using those for sure to hold these smaller cards. Throw that off to the side. Then we have our items, my favorite component of the game. All the cool weapons you'll get, ones that make noise that don't, require you to roll different dice at different damage level to handle different enemies. Got cattle prods. Those look like starter weapons since they're kind of in a gray color. Probably have a different back actually. So these look like special weapons, the red. And they do have a red back. So we have the prototype sniper rifle, prototype light machine gun, prototype heavy shotgun, prototype assault shotgun. And then these gray ones, six of them, which I'm assuming assuming is a starter. They got a gray back on them, makes sense. And it looks like you get two SMGs and four cattle prods. Nice. And then we have other stuff like oxygen tanks. A bunch of those. Peacekeeper bot. Yeah. Falchion sentry gun. The, the, the mechanics of these little bots were something that interested me when I was uh, looking at the campaign originally when it launched. When I backed it, we got assault shotguns, canisters, chainsaws, energy cells, 
Flamethrowers, heavy cutters. It's like some kind of sword knife thing. That's cool. I know some weapons I think can only be used inside and some outside of the airlock or whatever. Like outside in the space versus inside. MRE, discard this to gain three XP. So that's some kind of a meal ready to eat. <laughs> that's cool. Plenty of bullets. Search drone. You can search in any type of building zone. That's cool. Search light. Search, draw two cards, can trace line of sight to dark zones. Like a flashlight. That's cool. Sledge. It's like a sledgehammer. And more SMGs and a sniper rifle. I'm sure that's a nice ranged weapon. So that's the items. All right, let's look at the minis. Kind of a big deal, right? So that's one of the abominations. Let me see if I can get that up there for you guys. Focus. There we go. Look at this guy. Look at the detail here. That's crazy. Very nice. Very nice. And what's this guy? So this is one of your bots. We have here. That looks cool. That looks super cool. I got this little machine guns. Very cool. And here's all your characters. Nice light gray color. You put your colored bases on to tell what they are, but obviously lots of detail here. Yeah, lots of detail. Yeah, very cool. And then we have some of the Walker minis. Tanks. I'm assuming this is a tank. Get them in there. Come on. All right, there's our tank focused. Wow, that's cool. And yeah, they'll have different sculpts for each of the uh, walkers and hunters and whatnot. And even the tanks will have a couple different sculpts. So I think this is kind of like a, a uh, preview of each of the different sculpts here. And then what they'll do underneath is just kind of all the extras of the same sculpts. All laid out there for you. Nice little instructions on the inside of the box how to put it all back together. If you want to keep it like this to protect your paint job. I don't paint minis really, so I'll just probably throw away half this insert stuff and then uh, just kind of throw it all in the box together. Kind of add in the expansions all into one box. So let's throw this box to the side. And we have our tiles and tokens. Let's see if I can get this open here for you guys and gals. Throw that over right there. So token sheets, just one token sheet. There you go. That's your tokens. You got your noise, your spawn points, your exit token. Uh, I think these are objective tokens, I would assume. I don't know what these little, little ones are, but I mean, we'll find out during our playthroughs, won't we? And then here's your tiles. So a little more colorful than the green horde ones that came last. I wasn't too impressed with those. The art was very muted and like, wasn't the best graphic design for a board game for sure. Um, but yeah, I like this. It's very, it very much stands out where a building and a street is. And uh, yeah, indoor section, outdoor slash indoor. Nice tunnels probably to connect to places. Got your red room, green room there. Little airlocks. It's kind of cool. Yeah, the whole inside and outside thing, I'm kind of excited for that. I mean, that is in every zombie side, right? You got your street zones and your building zones and whatnot. But the idea of like having needing something to breathe outside or, or use your certain weapons outside, as my understanding, uh, is like kind of a little additional layer of strategy that you have to solve or tactics you have to solve to this game. And the last one, I believe. There you go. That is cool. All right. Throw this back in there. And let's get to these civilian extras. Okay, so civilian extras <laughs> kind of fallen out everywhere here. It doesn't look like they survive shipping as well as the boxes within the boxes in the core set. These aren't packaged with as much care. Obviously, you don't have a cool art box with a punch code. It's just brown cardboard uh, and kind of light. Uh, so Val is homicide uh, cards here. So these are all the extra characters. I'm not going to even open this, but it's uh, during the campaign. You can go check it out in the updates, but they, they've kind of made characters that are like, um, 
uh, what do you call it? They're just like um, mimics of other actors and characters and whatnot from uh, parodies. They're parody characters of other science fiction stuff. Usually they'll throw characters in from other movies and properties, but they'll name them different, right, for licensing issues and whatnot. Uh, looks like we got cards to add into the deck, uh, both items cards for our robots in here and our different abominations and zombies, or xenos, sorry, are all come with this. And here they are. So it's a bunch of different sculpts and whatnot. If I look at the Kickstarter page, it's like uh, extra abominations, alternate hunter sc uh, sculpts. We got tank sculpts, alternate worker sculpts, uh, mother-in-law abominations in here somewhere. This one right here. Uh, looks pretty cool. Let me throw that up there. <laughs> Come on, focus in camera. You can do it. Yeah, there it is. So mother-in-law abomination. That looks awesome. You got these things. They are, these guys are Xenomoths. Not sure how they work, but they probably have their own little cards in this pack and rules. Like little winged beings here, little winged snakes. And there's a sentry gun in here somewhere. Let's throw that to the side. Yeah, there's, let me see if I can get that up here for you guys. So there's a sentry gun. And then you have just all these characters that are from other properties and they'll have little cards that go with them. And then you have your other sculpts down there. But yeah, lots and lots of extra stuff just for back in the civilian pledge on Kickstarter and not waiting for it to hit retail. Don't usually use much of this extra stuff, but I, I find it nice just to get, so you don't run out of the miniatures uh, when the zombies or Xenos start flooding the board. You don't have to go out and buy that extra pack to keep it going, you know, because they kind of don't give you enough in the core set usually, uh, especially for the later missions. But when you get back on Kickstarter, they give you the extras. Yeah, which is nice. So civilian pack rules. So here's the rules for the additional stuff that's in here. The specific abominations that have special cards. The iris sentry. And the flingers. That's the other thing in there. Flingers, xenomoths, seeker workers. All have their own special rules if you want to add them in. Kind of beef up the difficulty more li most likely. And then here is a page picturing the layouts. Uh, if you're unsure with the mold, where things go. They give you a nice paper, how to put it all back, which is sweet especially when it comes in shipping and they're all falling out. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll just throw that in there for now. And the last thing to look at is the 3D doors. So I just added these on the side because I like them. Uh, like I said, I already had the deck holders. Um, the deck holders for uh, Zombicide Black Plague, I believe I got those ones with. And... Um, so I'll just reuse those. There is like red and yellow, and the ones that came with this in the Kickstarter were blue and yellow, I believe. Uh, but I'm fine just using those ones. I didn't get the plastic tokens, which I debated on, uh, but those usually come out to my local gaming store, and I'll just buy them there if I find we play this game enough that I want plastic for it. Because um, I got it for Black Plague, because I played a lot, and I picked those up at my local game store. I didn't get them through the Kickstarter, because uh, it's usually cheaper to buy it from my local game store, and I don't have to add on extra shipping weight for the Kickstarter. Um, but yeah, here's the doors. So yeah, here's the door, here's the base. And they kind of open different, a little more space theme to it. Um, science fiction door. If I can <laughs> put it together without breaking it. Yeah. Snaps together, just like uh, the ones in Black Plague. But as you can see here, they open like downwards. So that's open door, closed door. It snaps together, they fit really tight. Um, yeah, there's a door, all different colors, so if you need to do different color doors. And then they just have the gray door if you need for just regular doors. But in some of the scenarios, the objectives will say, like, you need the blue objective to open the blue door, green door, purple door, whatever. Um, but they give it to you here. So I'll put those all together, throw them in the box, and trash the rest of this stuff. But that is the unboxing of my Kickstarter. Uh, Civilian Pledge with the added on 3D doors. I'm sure a lot of people got a lot more than that. But uh, I found with Zombicide over the years... They come out with a new Zombicide like once a year minimum and they just keep coming and you'll buy so much stuff for a specific Zombicide and before you even play through all the scenarios, add in all the Kickstarter extras, add in the expansions, try it out in all the different modes, try the different types of zombies. By the time you even get through a few missions, the next one's coming out. 
and then you grab that one, then you haven't played half the stuff you already had. So I'm getting like overloaded with these Zombicide extras. So every Kickstarter I back less and less of it. I just get the base core set and just play through that. And usually we don't even get through the whole 10 missions included in there, but you can always play other missions that are online people post and create. And there's extra bonus ones. So I, I stopped kind of getting the expansions. And if I really played enough that I want the extra expansions, I'll just go to my local friendly game store and buy it later. I know some of it's Kickstarter exclusive and they try to get you to buy stuff up front to boost the numbers and kind of create popularity and hype behind the game just to, you know, to increase their million dollar, million dollar count of uh money to try to tell you you know this game has four million way the highest backed zombicide ever and that kind of thing and they just throw in all this extra stuff to get you to back it then but i prefer to wait till it's at my local game store and kind of support them uh so yeah and just get just what i need so we're gonna be playing through this on the channel if you'd like to watch that make sure you hit the alarm bell button and stay tuned for that so you do not miss it uh, hit the like button if you like this zombicide unboxing it helps out and if you have any questions or anything leave them in the comments below and yeah thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you in the next video Bye-bye.